Moose, you got to come back. You're too good. All right. Uh, I first met this young lady in California. We were doing a telethon. Her name was Lisa Davenport, and she was a Miss California. And the next thing I know, she had gotten married, and she's now Lisa Ryan. And you came on as a co-hostess. And you I were did. afraid something bad had happened. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to understand it's a rite of passage to utterly fail on your first day. Yes. We had moved out here. My husband was going to Regent University to get his degree, and um, I was invited back, and you gave me an opportunity. And my very first day on with you, I was so nervous to be standing next to Pat Robertson, okay. of all people, that the spirit of Elmer Fudd took over my mouth. <laughs> and I went to throw to Lee Webb at the news desk, and the only thing that came out was, Wee Webb. We Webb. Wee Webb. The funny part is they went over and, and, uh, and you know, went to Lee for the news. You buckled over, doubled over, laughing so hard because of, of how I just completely yeah. bobbled the copy that uh, you got a good laugh that day. So well, you, you, I thought, that he'll never invite me back. <laughs> you loosened up after that. Actually, I... I found you there. You were in the studio. You you were a uh, uh, script assistant or something. I said, this I was charming. running the teleprompter. Running the teleprompter. Hey, I was putting my husband through grad school and putting food That's on the right. table. And I, I and I recognize great talent. And <laughs> you were a blessing. And Scott Ross has interviewed hundreds of people in a very irreverent fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. You can't hear. No. <laughs> I didn't it happens to us when we get older, Scott. <laughs> I'm glad you still recognize me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, what my background with you and Dee Dee and the Robertsons, I came down here and moved into your house. Yeah, I, But I, I'm I, saving those stories for the book. <laughs> <laughs> I always say Scott knows where the bodies are buried. <laughs> right. My lawyer will be in touch with you. <laughs> producer. Yeah, go ahead. No, but... We, Nedra and I, my wife, she, you said a few, couple of years ago in the club when she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. we came down here from New York City and you said, I didn't know how famous you were talking to Nedra. I didn't. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was really culture shock for us to come out of a rock and roll background and all the stuff <laughs> we did to come into this studio to see, I was going to say sane. No, it wasn't. It was, there were things going on then, as John Gilman mentioned. Mm. The power of the Holy Spirit dropped into the studio. I remember one night, we all ended up on the floor, including the cameramen. Yes. And the power of God was so prevalent, lady comes running into the studio with curlers in her hair, been knocked out of the bed and baptized in the Holy Spirit. People were healed. The blind saw, you know, I mean, it was just absolutely mind-boggling. Yes. So those were days when we prayed the light bulbs in. We stood yeah. at the door and prayed them in the door. It was beautiful. You know, well, you, you know, I remember Scott came down. He'd been a rock and roll DJ at a big rock station in New York, and he'd had the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and various ones that he got to know. And uh, we had a guy on the air uh, whose name <clears throat> was Burpo, and he was very popular. And Scott goes on, and uh, he forgot to run the tape of Mr. Burpo. And so people were calling in and saying, where's Burpo? And Scott was saying, what's a Burpo? <laughs> I mean, it was wonderful. Come out of him. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah, you know, but the, 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 thing, the thing is, Pat, and this is not, you know, just stroking you. You, someone said this, Pat saw something you no one else saw, which was good, because otherwise I wouldn't be at CBN. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the fact that you saw in me, I had a vision, a burden for the counterculture. Mm -hmm. And for rock and rollers and people that the Christian church I didn't feel was reaching. And you said, do whatever God's telling you to do. Mm -hmm. And I started playing rock and roll music, talking about Jesus, which eventually became the Scott Ross Show. We went out 185 stations throughout the world. In a very strict sense, it became the voice of yeah. CBN in a world reach sense back then, before anybody believed in it. And I remember, I'm going to tell the story briefly, but people wanted me off the air. Oh, yes. And we had dedicated the new building in Spratley mm. Street, and they were grinding their teeth and wanted me off the air. Mm. And you came down the stairs in that building, and they said, those dirty people are here. We brought a rock and roll band in. So, dirty people are here. That girl doesn't have underwear on. I don't know how they knew that. <laughs> but, you know, or as you as know as and, sure. and said, get them out of here. And you said, the day that this building becomes more important than these people I will personally burn the building to the ground. Mm. Wow. Uh,
says something about you. Yes. yes. I, can, can I just say this? Sure, brother. That's the past. This is what I wrote down this morning. Even in old age, he will still produce fruit. He will remain vital and green. He will declare the Lord is just. He is my rock, Psalm 92, 14. That's the yes. future, not just Th the past. That is. What a great future. Yeah. Can you come back? <laughs> I would love to. I'd be happy to. You're down in Atlanta with Charles Stanley? Yes, Marcus and I are still at In Touch Ministries with Dr. Stanley. And we miss you. Well, I'll yeah. come home anytime. You got my number, Pat. I do? <laughs> Call me. All right. <laughs> I'll, ask, I'll ask the secretary. You got her number? <laughs> Nobody ever. Please, we, we, we love having you. And Scott, you're, you're here, and you and his wife, I had no idea. There was kind of this hippie couple that was working with us, and I was trying to cover my head as the, oh, man, you can't imagine interracial couple in oh, Portsmouth, yeah. Virginia. Yeah, you almost lost all your pledges over I that I almost one. lost everything on account of you, and I, I stuck <laughs> with you. Thanks. <laughs> But I didn't have any idea how famous uh, that this was a member of the Rock and Ronettes uh, who had toured with the Beatles and who has now been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I knew nothing about that. Dear friends. Yes. yes. You're exactly. Bless you, sir. Happy and here's birthday. the other thing. The other thing. Oh, sir. Harold's prophecy. Oh, yes. Bradison. Yes. I've been conscious of Harold and Bob Slosser all weekend. That we are to prepare the nations for the coming of the sun. That's the future. That's where we're going. It is. And we're still at it. And that, boy, what a mandate. Mm -hmm. it Fantastic. Is.